every female has a work husband. It's a known, unknown concept. Where things get tricky is it just depends on the type of relationship that her and her work husband have. The type of relationship that your girl might have with her work husband depends on the boundaries that she set. I shake. Uh, yesterday I did a video, and in the video I was saying that just because you put a ring on your girl finger, you know, your girl go out there and she tell dudes that she got a boyfriend or she got a husband, that doesn't mean that she's safe. Your girl is not safe from, from dudes trying to talk to her, especially if she's attractive. Like, niggas is going to try to talk to her. If she's talking about, oh, I got a husband, I got a boyfriend, dudes don't care. Dudes don't care about you. There's one thing you got to understand to keep yourself from being jealous and like insecure you have to understand that these dudes walking around here do not care about you they don't care about your little relationship this is so sadistic right that they will give your girl relationship advice while still trying to get the pussy dudes will tell your girl oh you should take your man here man i feel as though y'all would have fun while still trying to get in her drawers. To them, they don't know you, so they don't care, which is messed up. You feel what I'm saying? Because we got the manosphere out here, and the manosphere is giving all these advice about how women should act, but nobody's really talking about how men should act. Like, what if we all took accountability for other people's women? This is a foreign concept, and I know this should have never happened. But what if when a girl says, oh, I have a boyfriend, you just say, oh, okay, and walked away? Instead of still trying to figure ways to wiggle your, your way in. I don't think that'll ever happen. Because at the end of the day, we see pussy as a challenge. You know what I'm saying? We we hunt. We hunters at the end of the day. So just because she belongs to somebody else doesn't stop the hunt. But anyway, your girl has a work husband. It's dudes at your girl job right now fighting for supremacy over that pussy. Going to war over some pussy that don't belong to them. Now here's where things get a little tricky. The type of work relationship depends on your woman. If she works at a place where she's the only attractive female or she's semi-okay. Now a lot of niggas ain't gonna admit that they girl is semi-okay because then you have to take a look at yourself, okay? If you know deep down that your girl is unattractive, you have to take a look at yourself. Like why am I with her? personality. Let's say your girl works in a place where all the females are ugly and she might have the only thing to offer which might be a fat ass. She might be ugly too, but she might have a fat ass. She automatically becomes target number, numero uno. You know what I'm saying? Because let's say niggas is working there for 10 hours a day. They need some type of eye candy. They need, they, they need some type of female interaction and she becomes target numero uno. Before you get upset, I want you to understand something. In some situations, your girl might be in a work relationship and don't even know she's in a work relationship. And in a situation like that, you can't blame her. See, at a lot of jobs, you have dudes who want to be the man at work, okay? And let's say your girl is attractive. She might be the key to this nigga looking like the man at work to everybody else or to the other dudes. And she might not even know. She might just be innocently being friendly, you know, um, being a friendly co-worker. To her, shit might be innocent. She might not even pay attention to it. She might not even realize what's going on. But to everybody else, it might just be like, oh, yo, I see that nigga over there. Okay, he putting in that work in. And niggas be so narcissistic that, like, they want that. Like, they want that attention. A dude might be using your girl and being close to her to look like he's the man at work. Now, a step up from that, it might be a guy that really likes your girl. It might be a guy that really likes your girl. You know what I'm saying? And that happens. It's, it's situations where your woman is at work more and around these dudes more than she's around you. Your girl might work 10 hours a day around the same dude every single day. Eventually, they're going to have conversations. Eventually, those conversations could lead into other other things. It could lead into emotional conversations where she might be going through something and you're not there to help her out. Or she might be going through something, but because she's at work with this guy more than she's at home with you, he becomes the shoulder for her to lean on. And that's when you have a situation where, damn, my woman is at work having an affair. Yes, it, it's, it's possible. Women have to be very careful with how open they are with other men. You know, I know a lot of females say, well, I could have a male friend. There's nothing wrong with having male friends. But I'm going to be real with you, man. When you bonding with another dude, that's dangerous territory. You feel me? When you emotionally bonding with another dude, 
it's it's very dangerous ter territory very dangerous territory and it could it could lead into some some things all right so we got the first one dudes might might be trying to get close to your girl to look like they're the man at work so they might have it make other people seem like you know things is going on between the two of them but she might not even know what's going on another situation might be she works very close with another guy and they're they're together a lot and feelings happen things happen okay now the I'll say the third one it's more but the third one you have to really know who your woman is and if you know who your woman is, then you probably gonna be at home very, very stressed. I know women that uh, you touch a certain spot on them, and it's up. You feel me? You give them a certain type of conversation, and it's up. Like they're very freaky. If your girl is a freak, she she's very sexual. There's a chance that it's it's a, it's somebody at the job piping that thing down right now. I think that's the most important thing. You have to know who you with. If you with a female that you can't that you feel as though you can't trust around other dudes, then you shouldn't be with her. That's just real. If you with a chick that you feel as though, man, I don't want her to go to work, man, because I don't know what type of situation what's gonna happen. You shouldn't be with her then. That's gonna save you the embarrassment. It's gonna save you stress. It's gonna save you a lot of things. So just know who you with. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't use this video as a way to try to accuse your woman of fucking one of her co-workers. But what I'll tell you is as men, you would know who the work husband is or who is trying to be the work husband. Because at the end of the day, it's like it's a bit of narcissism involved in that shit. And narcissistic niggas always want you to know. They always want you to know that, yeah, nigga, I'm I'm the man. You feel what I'm saying? So you might go to like uh let's go let's say you go to like a Christmas party or something with her. Or you go to some type of company event. That motherfucker is gonna stick out like a sore thumb. He gonna show himself. He gonna figure out a way to show himself. And females don't never understand the concept of like why dudes get so like aggressive or like why oh why you acting like that to what because that nigga is doing shit. Matter of fact, yo, I want to do a video on narcissism. And like that is this is a perfect example of narcissism. Like dudes have some narcissistic tendencies. If you really think about it, like a lot of times men want a man wants you to feel like he's the only man for you. Like we want you to feel as though we are the final boss in the game. Once you get here, this is the final level and you have completed the game. It's a bit of narcissism. This is where it backfires because all men feel like that. All men feel like that. All men want you to feel as though they are the greatest thing for you. When you start giving other men attention and you have to understand that the guy that you're talking to and you're just being friendly to, he feels the same way, okay? He feels the same way. So when all three of y'all in the same room, that particular guy is going to, it's in his nature to do little things to hint at your man that yeah, you think you think that arm is strong, but I'm here. Little things. You feel what I'm saying? Little things. And it's little things that you might not notice, but your man might notice. And this is where narcissistic the the, the narcissism in men come into play. Because the power a narcissist has is that once it finds a target, and your man is actually will be the target, narcissistic niggas do shit that nobody else can see. And when your man try to explain to you like, yo, yo, folks did that, and he's doing this, and what? In your mind, the first thing you're going to tell your man is, oh, nigga, you, you being insecure. Like, stop acting like that. You feel me? And that's the power narcissistic people have. Like, they do shit, little shit. To bother they target. And when they target try to defend themselves or try to um, tell other people what's going on, they end up looking crazy. They end up looking crazy. Now, I know I got into a whole spill, but this is how relationships end, bro. Like, this is how niggas really be ending good-ass relationships. Because they will make your man look crazy for doing little shit, little things that only them and your man know that is going on. And you're just oblivious to the whole thing oblivious to the whole thing and this is why dudes don't trust dudes we don't trust other men because we know exactly how other men is thinking we go to a work party your work husband come up there you might not even know he's <laughs> he's gunning for the position of work husband but we gonna know 
And the reason we going to know is because he's going to do something. Even if you end the dude at your job is fucking and like your husband could pinpoint his ass all the way across the room. And your mind is like, what the fuck? How, how did he know? What, what's going on? We could sense that shit. All men have a bit of narcissism in them. And you know what? In them particular situation, it takes one to know one. Narcissist is a strong word. That's why I like to say narcissism. Because when you say narcissist, that's that's a far... That's, that's, that shit is crazy. Everybody have a bit of narcissism in them. But we're all not narcissists. Hopefully that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So yes. Ladies, be careful at work. You know? Maybe you can use it to your advantage, but be careful when you're trying to use it to your advantage because I know a lot of y'all try to use y'all feminism to to get ahead and, you know, uh, to make things a little bit easier in a situation where it's like, well, shit, if he going to do that because I look good, well, fuck it. Go ahead. If I'm going to get into this club because I look good, well, yeah, I'm going to use that, you know. If the work at the job is going to be easier because I look good, well, shoot, let it be like that. But you guys got to think about it, man. I always look at a job as prison. And the thing about prison is that niggas in prison don't do favors without expecting payment. Okay? So if you had the job and this particular dude or these particular men are doing you favors because they think you're attractive, I want you to understand that they want something in return. Yes, you know that. You might not be willing to give that in return. But think about that. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you go to work and set boundaries. 